Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Super Ghost Cruise for this. So today we'll be opening up the brand new set, Silver Tempest. Tempest? Tempest. I think that's right. Um, so I actually um uh, saw this at Walmart literally yesterday. I ended up going and I picked up some stuff. Um, uh, I think interestingly enough, I did actually end up seeing some Panini books there at Walmart, which is very rare because my local Walmart is kind of chaotic. And um, there's not a Pokemon section really anymore uh, because it's, again, card sections at Walmart nowadays are basically impossible to really be always filled in. Uh, and they just never have a good amount. And sometimes I check them. There's nothing. Sometimes I check it. There's a lot. I ended up checking. It was nothing really. There was the tiny little tins that are worth like $10, which have like two packs in them. They were specifically the Pokemon Go stuff. I wasn't entirely interested in getting any of those. Uh, I almost did though. And uh, I was just gonna walk away and check out a different section, the toy section where sometimes they keep some cards and stuff. And uh, they did have this, uh, the Verizon V box, but I will have already opened up that box on the channel. And uh, I was about to walk away and I was like, oh, you know, usually I check behind stuff because why not? And I did, and I found this. So this is a great find. Uh, it did cost me $44. Now, does that mean that Elite Turner Boxes have gone up by price? Because that's crazy. $5 increase for an Elite Turner Box, which is already extremely expensive. It's ridiculous. Uh, but it is what it is. I ended up picking up. I ended up picking up something else. And I'll show you guys in one second. Oh, I got it. All right, sorry. It was like hidden behind stuff. So I ended up also picking this bad boy up. Um, just a small blister pack. And you guys know I have a three-pack rule, so I ended up picking up with a single pack of this. Just something, anything, really. Uh, but that'll be a separate video. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're going to be opening up today. Let's see the brand new set. So uh, you guys know I like to do uh, Elite Trainer Boxes and Booster Boxes when sets come out. And this is what I ended up picking up. So, pretty cool. I am pretty excited for it. I don't know anything about this new set. I know it came out pretty recently. I have just started seeing people opening it up and stuff. But I don't really know anything about it. It's got a Galarian Vulpix, if I'm not mistaken, in the front. Could it be a regular Vul Vulpix? It looks like Galarian Vulpix. And uh, let's see what is inside. All right. Again, I have not seen anything about this set. I'm kind of going in blind, like extremely blind. More blind than I usually do. Because uh, I usually, I see when sets are get, getting announced. But because I've been so busy with my finals are this week, I have two finals. And I already did my final presentation for one of my classes. Uh, but I do technically have like a quiz for or whatever. I have, you know, I'm trying to do all the extra credit work right before as well. Because, you know... Everybody knows extra credit is extremely important in college. Um, this is, of course, the little thing that they show you. Um, we have here, that is Galarian Vulpix. Uh, I, what the, I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to be. Maybe that's a new Pokemon. Who knows? There's this thing. Uh, I don't even know what's happening. And then we have Lugia. All right. So the most, I have no idea what those two in the middle are, but Lugia is pretty cool. I like Lugia. All right, a super strange a selection, but I guess we will see here. We'll see here. Of course, you also do get a player's guide. Uh, pretty cool. And inside, you get to see all about the newest set, uh, different types of cards that are in the current meta. Of course, th that being the uh, V cards, uh, uh, V Max, uh, V Stars. Uh, v Max cards are still a thing. Um, v Star cards. Uh, what else? I think those, those are everything. I did see something about an uh, EX card. What the hell is that? All right. I did see something on my Instagram. I don't even check my Instagram. Oh, Radiant cards are also a thing. Is there is there something cool in here? Is it like a newer set? I don't know. Maybe it's Japanese I saw it in. I saw an EX card of some sort. Are they bringing back EX cards? I know the little symbol thing looked weird. I, I don't know what was what was that about. But it, was de it definitely wasn't an old EX cards. Because I basically have all those memorized. All right, starting off the bat, I love Superior. I love the, 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 the whole um, line of them. 
and i think they're super great pokemon so these two are definitely cards i want to pull even just the regular reek version chestnut is also a fan favorite card of mine i just love it um i actually i don't think i have the tint anymore no i think i do i have one of my original tints from when i was a little kid i still have and it is a chestnut tint uh Reshiram is also a card that i love because i grew up uh uh started collecting during black and white era and i did have both black and white when they first originally came out as the first full art cards ever so i do uh, i used to have those no longer have them in my collection anymore uh any water types uh vulpix pretty boring and then the other guy i don't care about too much about him cool pikachu and raichu those look cool and oh, okay no i have seen this guy before i don't think he's brand new but that's pretty lame no one cares and the other one is the unknown card looks pretty cool i know unknowns are really popular there isn't a regular unknown card though that's kind of lame i like the regular unknown cards they don't have to be v uh, v max cards Mawile. Okay, so it is Mawile. I was thinking it might have been Mawile, but Mawile is always a card that ends up being a tiny bit weird. From certain angles, you just can't tell what's happening. Mawile is okay. Uh, ooh. This is an interesting card. Uh, I don't know if I like it. It looks interesting. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. But... All right. A dragon type, so I forgot about dragon types. Uh, pretty lame. I think this guy... No, this is the guy that's in the front. I think he's the guy in the front. Lugia V-Star would probably be a good one. A Lugia V or a Ho-Ho V. That's probably good cards. Um, everything else here is lame. Eh, lame. Yeah, so these are probably the cards I want. That Yeah, these right here. These are awesome. These I don't care too much about. Alternate arts are usually interesting, though. Oh, the unknown alternate art would be awesome. Ooh, that Lugia is probably worth something. Oh, dude. That is a beautiful Lugia. Oh, dude. Uh, that is definitely the card. I guarantee you that's the card. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. That, I, that's the card I want. That's my, that's my main card. All right, pretty cool. Got some pretty cool stuff here. Rainbow Rares and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Oh, we do have character cards here as well. Malamar is pretty cool. Ooh, this is dope. Ah, uh, you guys know how much I love character cards. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Oh, dude. Ooh, that Blaziken, dude. Oh, I want that Blaziken so bad. They have another Rayquaza VMAX. They have some random ass cards in here. What is this? And then these guys are usually never worth anything, but the Rayquaza VMAX, this part, this one will probably be worth something because it is a famous favorite card. This card will probably be worth, be worth nothing. Okay, so this is actually some good cards in here. So number one cards I want. Blaziken, this this one right here, I want this one. Ah, this this is a reverse slot. This is Okay, so there's a reverse slot in this set. Like a big reverse slot. Reverse slots, I probably want these two. These are my two reverse slots that I want most. Uh, yeah, the Quaz would be cool. This guy would be cool as well. Those would be awesome. And then character cards. I'm a big fan of most character cards. So this guy would be probably my top one. And Malamar probably. But this one's really cool as well. And I do actually like this one. Even though I don't like the Pokemon itself. But from regular pulls, that's the Lugia I want. Alright, now we know what we're looking for. I always love, love to see those. I always like to take a look at them. To actually see what we're going to be able to to you know what, what, what we're kind of be looking for really so of course with elite turner boxes it always brings the actual elite turner box which i always have to give a tiny bit of value because they are in my opinion the best things to store your pokemon cards in they are a great size for most collectors because they're not too big and not too small so far i think large collect uh for collectors who do collect a solid amount not a massive amount like me like at, at my point I probably need to do something custom because I have so many cards. I mean, I have probably have like 40 of these Elite Trainer Boxes that I've bought. Maybe, okay, that's probably exaggerated. Maybe. I do have at least 20 of them. So I, I have a large, I have a lot of collection. I, I, I have a big collection. Seriously, I have boxes in my room that I have to seriously start taking downstairs at this point. Because I just, I can't. It's gotten to the point that I can no longer sort bulk. I just 
throw them in a bin basically not throw them but I, I i basically stack them just whatever and i put them in a bin it is what it is um but yeah this is pretty cool i always like to give them a props because these are great even though it is just cardboard they're a great size and uh they know that uh because of that they give you four dividers where you can put in the middle uh these are usually good for smaller collectors if you're getting elite trade boxes uh these are good for small collectors if your collection is a little bit smaller i'm i'm at point you know like uh, an elite, entire elite trainer box doesn't even cover a subsection of cards for me like you uh, it would be like 60 hp common cards um just fire type still doesn't fit in here that's very specific maybe something like dragon types and like fairy types can fit in here and then i could put something in the middle but you know I, the size of my collection is almost impossible to store anything so that's great. Always like to add that. Uh, you do get burn and damage counters. These are the same ones we've been getting them ever since Sword and Shield has come out. So that's pretty cool. And this is also part of Sword and Shield, by the way, which somehow is still going on. How long is Sword and Shield? Uh, you do get the V-Star tag. That's cool. Love to see that. And it is acrylic, like a plastic acrylic thing, which is nice. It's not... Um, I find the shape weird. And then they do technically have the cardboard, like the regular versions of them in still in packs. But it's good to see these in here. Haven't seen metal versions of those, which is interesting. You do also get um, 40, 45 energy? 45 energy. They're completely random. I'm going to keep them in these sealed things because they're just energies. They're based in the newer style of these energies, which I personally fucking hate. I cannot stand these. These are disgusting looking. Um, so I'm giving those away. <laughs> and uh you do get a code card for the pokemon tcg live if you guys it redeems a bunch of stuff like the sleeves and a deck box uh basically based on the art of the elite trainer box which is pretty cool something i do always love to see i have a massive amount of dice uh these are actually a really cool colorway i like these someone who loves loves elite trainer boxes i have a ton of these damage counter dice these are done in a really cool different color which is awesome i really like that these are awesome I like to see these uh, and then this one actually looks good as well and of course that is the one so good to see the, the the coin die and the damage counter dies so pretty cool these are always awesome to get add them to the collection and of course you do get 65 sleeves these are always great i love these sleeves uh they are tournament legal uh i'll be right back guys sorry about that guys so <clears throat> anyways these sleeves are interesting because they are loose on cards uh well just these are literally old cold cards there we go there's random cards so you want to sleeve it up they are pretty loose uh so you can you can put a, a a penny sleeve on it like the tight penny sleeves and then put it inside here these fit of course in top loaders uh i wouldn't recommend to put these in sleeves and then in the binder they're a little wide on the corners because they have sharp corners and you will damage the sleeve. You will not damage the card. So if you don't care about the sleeves, you but you will damage the sleeves. Um, they are tournament legal, but they're not the most durable. Uh, they're good quality. Uh, but because how cards are shuffled and how these sleeves are made and they're glued from the, the edges here, they they'll start ripping from the sides and the basically this like plastic backing that they have will come out. Or a lot of times they'll just rip apart. There is 65, 60 for a deck, and five extra. Um, so that's that's at least good. They are great, uh, but for storing cards away and um, <clears throat> stuff like that. But if you're going to be using your your deck a lot, maybe not the best usage of these. But they are great. I, I, I uh, Pokemon sleeves are good quality. They're not the best quality for durability and maybe not the perfect size for putting into, um, what's it called, into uh, binders because uh, you can damage the sleeves. Not the cards, but the sleeves you could damage. <clears throat> All right, so that's it. Now we're going to open up the actual packs. We have eight packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs, and let's just get right into it. There's a reverse slot, so we're going to have to be uh, paying attention to that. Can we pull anything that's good? Who knows? We haven't opened up this much Pokemon cards in a while, to be fair. We haven't opened up a big box. Um, no, I've been a little bit busy and stuff. 
All right, I'm gonna go a little bit slower because I haven't seen any of these cards before. Hypno, pretty good one. It's a cool art, actually. Clay Doll, Pharaoh Seed, <clears throat> this guy, pretty cool. Esper, Dractini, Chin Chow. We do a reverse there, just a regular on common. And I think we have. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Mawile V Star, baby. Rainbow Rare. Ooh. That is 200 out of 195. That's crazy. It's actually really. Uh, not the worst. Centering from left to right is pretty solid. It is a little thick on the top. But pretty good card overall, man. That's a great pull. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not bad. Not bad with our first pack there. Hopefully we can continue this luck. Rainbow rare from our first pack, though. I mean, uh, our luck has started pretty solid already. <clears throat> All right. Get that code card out of there. One, two, three, four, to the front. We turn around. Here we have Trash Energy. V-Guard Energy. I haven't seen this one. Why? This Pokemon takes, attached to, takes 30 less damage from opponent's V. So I'm that, I'm guessing that's V-Star. Um, V-Cards and V-Max cards? That's interesting. All right. Undentified Fossil. Reg oh, there's a lot of energies. Whenever you play a Pokemon... From your hand to evolve the pokemon v in this card is attached to heal 100 damage from that pokemon interesting srilix this guy in dd that's a cool dd one ball toy we have a nice guy there capturing aroma that is an uncommon reverse no pulls from reverse slot yet and we do actually get a v card there one of the ones I wasn't interested in, but it's always good to get a V-card. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not too shabby. Two packs in, two pulls. All right, one more one more pull in any direction, and we will have average pulls. So hopefully we do actually end up getting some good pulls today, man. Can we pull some, like, actually good pulls? Who knows? Energy. Toxa, uh, Toxic packs. Metal thing, metal thing, professor there. All right, I'm gonna involved with a specific type of cards. Chin Chow, Ferrocene. Oh, Pikachu. I get he looks like he's fighting the other uh, rat electric types. Ponyta, Venonat. Oh, all right, Altera is a reverse. Another uncommon there. Oh, do you guys see that? Oof. There's like a big marking on the top of this card. That's crazy looking. My card is going really wild. Big marking there. And then we do have a non-holographic rather at the end. I expected that one. <clears throat> you know, we can't have good pulls all the time. We have to at least have one dud. Next pack here. So far, so good, though. Pretty solid. <clears throat> Do want some reverse pulls, though. Would like something in the reverse slot. That would be nice. <clears throat> Doesn't need to be the best thing ever, but just something. All right, so we do actually have a V-Star thing here. Pretty lame. Nobody cares. Uh, done a fan. Pretty cool. Dragon there. Tora Cat. That's a good one. I like that one. Spinda. Pikachu. I like that R for Pikachu as well. Pika Strike. Noibat. Ooh, one of the other rats. Electric Rat. Sendile. Ooh! I, dude, oh, dude, this one looks crazy in real life. Oh, dude, this one looks great. Look at that art. It looks way better in person than it does on the actual art thing. I don't even know. He looks like he's painting of some sort with his tail. Two eyes, the mouth. Look at this pattern over here. Just the holographicness and how the rainbow catches light and everything. That's a great pull. I'm glad I got this one, actually. That's a lot better in person. And we do actually end up getting a holographic. Nice. 
All right, solid pools, solid pools. Pretty solid pools. I'll be happy with that. Can you give me more, please? But I'll be happy with that. Those are good pools so far anyways. This video might take actually a little bit to try to actually get uploaded. I'm gonna make sure we do this faster. Cause I gotta do some stuff today. I gotta record a pretty big video I've been planning to record. Crocker Rock, Clang, Lance, The Rat, Esper, this guy who likes to paint, Litten, that's cool Litten, PP2, that's what I call it. All right, non holographic rare. No, I mean, uh, reverse uncommon. At the end, we have non holographic rare. All right, <clears throat> I would like another verse slot to be fair. I feel like that would be a good, good. Good thing to pull. We do have three packs left, including this one. <clears throat> so, can we can we get some good pulls? That's the real question, I think. One, two, three, four to the front. We turn around. Steel energy. Nine tails. That is a great art for nine tails. That is a great looking art for nine tails. Way of Lord. This guy. Metatite, Do Spider, Ponyta, Venonat, Rots, Swablu, How Do You Do, Reverse, and a Keldeo, non holographic rare. Alright, another dud pack. Give me something else. Give me something else. Give me a reverse slot. Give me a V card. Yeah, give me a V card and a reverse slot, and I'll be happy. I'll be like completely set. I won't even ask for more. Because you guys know I like asking for good pulls. <laughs> All right. Gailey. Gailey. Gail I don't know how you say that one. Mail stick. Me meal stick. Meow stick. Not how to say that guy. Right? Oh, this is cool. Like a crab. Ralts. That's a cool card for Ralts. Fletchling. Dragtini. Kling, K, Stung Fisk, Spin the Reverse, that is a common. Victini, non holographic rare. All right, last pack here. Can we pull anything good from this pack? Fingers crossed. All right, last pack here. Can we pull anything good? Give me a solid pull. Please, 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 something, just something. I would prefer a reverse slot than an actual slot. Emergency Jelly. That's a weird looking art. Candice. Look at the top 10 cards. You may reveal any number of water Pokemon and water energy cards. Oh, that is a great card. Uh, Wilmer. Murkrow. Emoga. Meditate. Durant. Oh, uh, Chin Chow Reverse, so nothing I reverse slot. And can we have something at the back? Ooh, actually we can. All right. All right. So definitely above, above average pulls, I do have to say. So reverse slot, we definitely didn't do good. Reverse slot was probably our weakest part, not going to lie. These are the reverse cards we did in the pulling. So nothing too crazy for reverse slots. Um, we didn't even get a rare, I think. The best card we got was an uncommon from our regular reverse slots. But at least we didn't get any doubles. They were all different. These are always good to add to the collection. We did end up getting one reverse slot, which was this beautiful character card. This is awesome, though. I'm glad to pull this character card. Looks great. And of course, for our actual pulls, I think we got some good pulls. Uh, we got a holographic, which is always good to see. Always good to get a holographic. Now, as, that's just like icing on the cake. We did get a V-card and a second V-card. So that would be pretty average pulls. But this makes the average above. Uh, getting a uh, V-star rainbow rare is an absolute godly pull. So I'm happy to pull this bad boy. So great, great stuff to add to the collection. Pretty solid pulls. Uh, that's it. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out everything else down in the description. Specifically, my TikTok, Instagram, gaming channel, Lego channel, as well as the stream down below if you guys are interested in donating. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, guys.